Hi, this is Buck WSR Weezer coming at you today with another small engine repair video. Today we're going to be talking about your lawn tractor's safety switches. Every tractor has them. And if you've ever come out to your tractor, turn the key and nothing happens, maybe the problem is with the safety switches that are preventing it from starting. Or if your tractor's cut out on you for no apparent reason. Again, safety switches could be involved. Today I want to talk about safety switches and try to take away some of the mystery surrounding them. I want to give you a word of caution. A lot of people want to disable or uninstall the safety switches on their lawn tractor. I don't recommend that because safety is important. The first step is to understand how they work so that you can get back to uh, mowing and enjoying your tractor. So let's get started. Simply put, your tractor safety switches serve two functions. The first function is that of shutting down a running engine. If an unsafe condition presents itself, the tractor will shut down. Here's how it does that. It connects battery negative, also known as ground, to your ignition coil, also known as your magneto. When it does that, this the magneto, the coil cannot produce spark and your engine will just stop running. So battery negative or ground is connected to your magneto and, and shuts down your tractor. An example of this would be if you get off the driver's seat while the blades are spinning. That would be an unsafe condition. Battery negative would make its way to your ignition coil and the tractor would shut down. That's the first function of a safety switch to shut down a running engine. Let's take a look at the second of the two functions of a safety switch. That is to disable the starting system. It'll keep your engine from running, uh, or from starting to begin with, in an unsafe condition. And the way it does that is by interrupting the flow of battery positive, 12 volt battery positive, interrupting the flow of that voltage to your starter solenoid. This is the, this is the case of when you turn the key and nothing happens, one of the safety switches is, is open, interrupting the flow of the 12 volts from the battery to the starter solenoid. It's supposed to happen is 12 volts is supposed to come from your key switch to your starter solenoid, engage the starter, and, and get your engine going. But the safety switches serve to disable that starting system if they detect an unsafe scenario. So an example of this would be if you, if you turn the key to start the engine, but you haven't pressed down on the brake pedal. The switch is open, the flow of 12 volts is interrupted, doesn't make its way to the starter solenoid, and your tractor does not start. So these are the two functions of your safety switches, to shut down a running engine and to disable the starting system. What we're going to do now is look at a wiring diagram, a schematic, of a typical tractor setup so that you can understand exactly how these work and how they interwork with each other. As an example today we're going to use this Craftsman R1000 lawn tractor. This got all, it has all the safety switches that you'll typically find on most modern lawn tractors. I got this wiring diagram or schematic for that Craftsman R1000 lawn tractor online. I got it from the Sears Parts Direct you look up your tractor by model number and one of the parts diagrams that they include will be the wiring diagram like this one. And I copied and pasted into Microsoft Word and I printed it out here. Now I'm going to use a green marker to trace battery negative or ground and then later we'll use a red marker to trace battery positive and this is going to help us understand how these key switches work. Let's start with those switches that shut down a running engine. As you know, they do that by applying battery negative or ground to the ignition coil or magneto, shutting down the engine. We're going to talk first about the seat switch. Battery negative ground is supplied to your seat switch constantly. So when you get out of the seat, what happens? Well, there's two things. First of all, battery negative is con con connected to one side of your brake pedal switch. If the brake pedal is not depressed, then battery negative is connected all the way to your magneto and your engine shuts down. 
on this tractor then if the engine is running you cannot get out of the driver's seat unless you depress the brake pedal and you can lock it into position lock it into that braked position the second thing that your seat switch does is it takes uh, ground from your sweet sw seat switch when you get out of the seat it connects battery negative or ground to one side of the PTO switch the power takeoff switch that's the switch that turns on the cutting blades if the switch is in the on position and the blades are spinning you're cutting you're mowing battery negative then flows through the switch and makes its way to the magneto and shuts down your engine this tractor then does not allow you to get out of the driver's seat if the blades are spinning. All right. Another safety feature on this particular tractor is the deck attachment switch. That is, it's the grass deflector chute. It has to be in place on the cutting deck. Otherwise, if the grass deflector chute is not in place, here's what happens. Battery negative, ground, flows through the switch and directly to the magneto and shuts down your engine. So on this tractor, if the deflector chute gets knocked off or out of place for any reason, the engine will shut down. Not all tractors have this particular safety switch, but the, the Craftsman R1000 does. There's one final safety switch that can cut down, shut down a running engine. It's the reverse switch. The reverse switch, um, when you shift your transmission into reverse, what happens is that battery negative or ground flows through the reverse switch, connects to your PTO switch. And if your PTO is on, your blades are running, you're cutting, battery negative will be connected to your mag magneto and the ignition, the module, the engine will shut down. So this particular tractor then does not allow you to mow grass while driving in reverse. It's a safety feature. This is one of those safety features that people are most inclined to uh, disable. Um, so these are the ways in which your tractor safety switches will shut down your engine. All in the name of safety. Now let's quickly talk about those safety switches that prevent your tractor from starting if certain safety conditions are not met. Here's what's supposed to happen. Battery positive, 12 volts from the battery to your key switch is supposed to flow from the key switch to your starter solenoid. When that happens, it, it engages your starter motor and the engine begins. But that 12 volts battery positive must first flow through one, two, three safety switches before it will make its way to your starter solenoid. So those three switches have to be all in the right place. The first is the first is the current flows through your brake pedal switch. If the pedal's been depressed, great. It'll connect and flow through to the next switch, your power takeoff, your PTO switch. If your PTO is in the off position, great. Voltage can then flow through the to the next switch, your deck attachment switch. And if the deflector chute is properly attached, voltage will then flow through to your starter solenoid starter motor will engage your engine will start in other words on this tractor three conditions must be met in order to start the engine the brake pedal depressed the PTO switch in the off position and the deck deflector properly in place well I hope that helps you understand your lawn tractor and its safety switches we learned there's two kinds the kind that shut down a running engine or the kind that will prevent your engine from starting. We've also looked at how a wiring diagram or schematic can help you understand how your particular lawn tractor safety switches operate. I want to thank you for watching. I uh, encourage you to leave a comment or a question in the, below if you have one. And please subscribe to my channel for more uh, how-to videos and repair videos on small engines. Thank you.